spiritual recharge. So you know the drill. We should be always in the right mood, proper mood, in um, studying the Srimad Bhagavatam, our spiritual activities, even our normal activities. We should be in the right mood. So join me as we recite the invocation mantras. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Narayanam Namaskritya Naram Chaiva Narotamam Devim Saraswati Vyasam Tato Jayam Mudirayet Nashta Prayeshu Abhadreshu Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Bhagavate Utamas Loke Bhaktir Bhavati Naistiki I offer my respectful obeisances to the Supreme Personality of God Advice Vasudeva before reciting this stream at Bhagavatam which is the very means of conquest. <clears throat> One should offer respectful obeisances unto the personality of God at Narayan, unto Naranarayan Rishi, the supermost human being, unto Mother Sarashvati, the goddess of learning, and unto Srila Vyasadeva, the author. By regular attendance in classes on the Bhagavatam and by rendering of service to the pure devotee, all that is troublesome to the heart is almost completely destroyed. A loving service unto the personality of Godhead, who is praised with transcendental songs, is established as an irrevocable fact. So, napaka-solid. <laughs> <clears throat> These are the invocation mantras. One should recite before reading, studying the Srimad Bhagavatam. And it, help one, it helps one to be in the proper mood. So, Ang ating nakaraan, <coughs> it is in the Krishna consciousness, the practice of Bhakti Yoga, it is very important to know that there is no actually difference in appearance and disappearance of a pure devotee. Like in normal instances, lagi natin sinaselebrate yung birthday. But also, a pure devotee's um, living is also same as important as the other one. Of course, there will be grief, kasi? not just for the material body, but our um, longing for that association. But knowing, because of knowledge, knowing that they will continue their service in the spiritual world or um, serving their spiritual master in the next life, that will give us joy again. And of course, yung nakaraan, si Bhishma Dev, was pierced by hundreds of arrows, lying on the floor, suspended, not even his, any part of his body is touching the ground. Maybe yung hair. Pero nakalut ng siya doon, ayun yung bed of arrows niya. He was um, actually um, very old. Kailangan niya lumaban sa war against yung kanyang mga loved ones, which is always the Pandavas. And the body is um, not young anymore. So, he is actually giving it up. And as he passed away, his last breath, he was very fortunate. And by the mercy of Krishna, because he is part of Krishna's eternal um, pastimes. Ibig sabihin, eternal pastimes. Lagi siya yung kasama ni Krishna sa mga pastimes na yun. Kumbaga siya yung... Um, regular actor sa scene kung saan ganun yung um, pinaperform ni Krishna. Laging siya yun. And um, he passed away in front meditating on Krishna. Actually, physically in front of Krishna and with the glorious death. Kutid reading from Srimad Bhagavatam creation, the first canto, chapter 9, the passing away of Bhishma Dev. Shop verses. We're in a verse. Yeah, 44 na tayo. Translation. Knowing that Bhishma Dev had merged into the unlimited eternity 
of the supreme absolute, all present there became silent like birds at the end of the day. So, ang ganda analogy, no? Like, dito ako naririn yung laging, um, hindi dito sa room kasi medyo um, controlled yung yung sounds. Pero pag sinabi dito siya nila, sa porch area siya nag, nag bibigay ng lectures. Naririn yung mga birds. Different kinds of birds. Pero sa gabi, you wouldn't hear them. In this moment, uh, as Bishma Dev disappeared, actually, um, everyone was affected. Everyone was in grief. But they know that their um, very dear most grandfather, Bishma Dev, is on the next um, level of, um, in his next life, in a better place. Sabi niya dito, um, enter into or become merge in the limited eternity. So, nakasama niya na si Krishna. It was explained by Srila Prabhupada that um, all the souls are part and parcel of Krishna. Pero just like in a machine, analogy ng machine, pag tinanggal mo yung part na yun, nawawalan ng silbi yung part na yun kasi hindi na siya part ng whole mechanism. Us, soul, Kapag wala tayo sa Krishna consciousness, but wala tayo sa connection kay Krishna, it is just like parts, like screw or a bolt. Tanggalin mo dun sa machine, machinery. Wala na sense. Hindi na siya part ng whole machine. So, as as the part and parcel of Krishna, we're detached and we're trying to attach ourselves to the devotional service. And that's why, ayun din yung ultimate destination. When one um, passes away. It was mentioned here also that see, si Bishma Dev is a pure devotee. He is actually part ng mga pinag-usapan to sa Iskon Disciple Chorus, yung mga liberated person. So, yeah, there are liberated person or eternally liberated person. They are actually, um, some of them are Saktivas avatars or empowered incarnation ni Krishna. And some of them are really uh, eternally liberated lang. Hindi talaga sila affected ng material. Hindi sila opposite non is eternally conditioned. Uh, um, I could say myself, <laughs> I'm part of eternal condition ng mga uh, soul. Bakit nag eternal condition? Kasi um, sobrang tagal na natin dito. Sabi nga, time immemorial parang eternity na, na tayo na condition sa material life. Pero may mga eternally liberated souls. They are very, um, we are very fortunate to have their association. Just like our Srila Prabhupada, is like an eternally liberated soul. Pero may mga empowered din naman, na mga gurus, na empowered by this eternally liberated soul. And when one is following the servant of an eternally liberated soul or pre-devotee, one is also following the pure devotee automatically. There was an instance now when Sri Prabhupada was giving initiation. Um, sobrang dami. He have to task yung pag-chant. Pag one is being initiated, nag-chant yung guru dun sa beads first before it, it will be given to the disciple during initiation. So during this time, sobrang daming initiate dun and it was impossible for Sri Prabhupada to finish yung mga Chanting dun sa beads. Then, he tasked his um, devotees into sa na you have to chant with um, these beads uh, as my behalf. Then, sabi ng mga devotee na sinitutuhan si Prabhupad, but Sir Prabhupad, we are not pure. They might be saying that out of um, humility, or like genuinely, they sinasabi lang, they sinasabi rin nila yun na they're not pure. Uh, that's the right mode of the Vaishnava. But your Prabhupada mentioned, um, yes, you might not be pure, but the instructions are pure. So you should do it. So that answers the question regarding the liberated souls. Um, Oo oh nga, kung may liberated souls pala na magiging guru, edi siya yung hanapin ko. Not the um, sabing, um, guru na hindi eternally liberated. 
first, wala mag-aamin. Eternally liberated sila. Like, wow. Well, I'm a type, bro. Radha Charandas, eternally liberated soul, brahmachari. <laughs> so, pag yung tao, gumalan na siya sa sarili niya, automatic hindi na. <laughs> diba? um, the more devotees are being advanced, the more humble they will be. The more they will see themselves as um, not qualified. Ganun sa Krishna consciousness. Ganun sa spiritual life. They wouldn't claim themselves to be someone. Actually, tiyatakpan nga nila, tayo nga nila pag nag, ano, may glorification or nire-reveal yung, um, yung mismo ano nila, um, glories nila or qualification nila. So, one wouldn't know. Only an eternally liberated soul or an, um, a devotee in the stage of Uttama Adhikari, in that um, advanced stage, could know sino pa yung mga nans- sa ganong stage. Pero they wouldn't, they wouldn't um, dare na um, i ano yon i press release na garito ako ganyan ako but yes as in our sa uh, sampradaya sa sa parampara natin there are a lot mostly yung mga acharya natin even sila yung mga uh, eternally liberated souls and some of the sadhus are saying um, some of them are even manjaris eternally na kasama ni Krishna but Krishna have to send them here to save the fallen conditioned souls. So, may yung iba rin doon makikita mo sa scriptures, just like Shri Prabhupada. Even, Shaitanya Mahaprabhu predicted yung pagbaba ng kanyang Sinapati Bhakta, his soldier, si Shri Prabhupada, that would spread Krishna consciousness all over the world. Kasi si Lord Shaitanya, he spread Krishna consciousness sinadya niya sa India lang. He could do it anywhere. Pero ayun yung past time. And then you request the mga devotees niya na huwag sila iwan. But Shri Prabhupada, because of Krishna's empowerment and because of his full faith and love sa Guru's instructions and kay Krishna, he done um, very, how do you call this, um, di madidefine basta-basta na tasks and services. Bilo mo in 12 years, in that advanced stage, more than 70 years old, he translated more than 100 books. He was the author of more than 100 books. He circled the globe 14 times. Kung 12 years siya doon, 14 times siya. Tapos he manages thousands of disciples. He manages hundreds of temples. Tapos ang dami niya TV appearance, ang dami niyang... How he could, he could handle that? Hanap ka nga lang ng author na may 100 books, hindi ka lang basta-basta makahanap. <laughs> so, sobrang kakaiba. And, um, yes, yung mga assigned, yung mga task, and yung mga um, instructed na mga gurus, na disciple na Shara Papad, na si Shara Papad nagsabi, nag-instruct sa kanila, and being trained by him or the um, close associate ni Shara Papad, are also as... Um, Powerful as your prophet, you could see them. Some are really preaching in Africa, in China, in Russia, diba? risking their lives. Diba? May mga fallen soldiers tayo, mga naapekto ang talaga ng mga ano. Um, they were um, injured because of that battle. Minsan physically. Because a lot of demonic um, entities are uh, trying to stop yung Krishna consciousness because of just demonic. Um, how would I call this? Um, selfish uh, motives. So yes, they are the eternal liberated souls. And even see si Bhishma Dev is one. So let's, uh, okay, Sri Prabhupada mentioned here that Shri uh, Bhishma Dev went back to Vaikuntha. As you, you could remember, he, Krishna was being, Vishnadi was being, um, he's uh, meditating on Krishna in forearm form, in a Vaikuntha form ni Krishna. And as his um, worshipable deity, doon siya pupunta sa forearm form ni Krishna, which is in Vaikuntha. I'll show you, I think, may picture ako nun eh. So, ayayo kahapon, pinakita natin kahapon. Yung form ni Krishna, yung creation, 
the topmost is the um ang ating bike um sorry ang ating Brindavan branch Goloka Brindavan and ang sumunod doon is Vaikuntha planet where um unlimited Lord Vishnu is there ayan sige I'll show you so, kung saan napunta si Bhishma Dev Hare Krishna Sudarshan kasama ko nagjogging kahapon yan <laughs> Another one. So yes, kahapon we discuss about the aliens, angels, and devils. Ito yung uh, illustration na yan. These are the, um, you can see, the material world. This is the spiritual world. Yung creation of material world is just, I think, one third or one fourth. No more creation of Krishna. This is the spiritual world. Si Kaila, si, si Lord Shiva yan. Pero after niyan, that will be, um, this is Vaikuntha Loka. Unlimited Nara yan. And mostly yung relationship with Krishna Rito is in awe and reverence. With formality. And Bhishma Dev, um, it was mentioned by Sher Prabhupada, went here. This is the abode of Krishna. And mostly, yung mga ra five rasas is complete here. But um, one could have the uh, intimate love relationship with Krishna in this. Um, Goloka Vindavan. Okay, you see. Madhurya Dam. Madhurya is the intimate. Yung mga Madhurya Rasa. And so that is the destination of Vishmadev. Text number 45. Thereafter, both men and demigods sounded drums in honor, and the honest royal order commenced demonstrations of honor and respect, and from the sky fell showers of flowers. So, this passing away of a great personality, like Nagosapa natin, the Duke passed away a few days ago. And it was televised, it was being um, commem commemorated, honored by the whole country, even the whole world. And nag-uusap nga kami ni Radhan at Prabhu, sabi niya, what more pa kaya pag yung mga great personalities, yung mga panahon ni Krishna, may ka-pass away. Ito pala yung sagot nun. <laughs> Hindi lang yung mga tao dito sa mundo yung nakaalam ng passing away ni Bhishma Dev. The glory is that. Even the demigods. Even yung mga um, demigods in other planetary system. Sabi nga yung dito, ano yun? Thus, Bhishma Dev was known all over the universe. And during this time, interplanetary travel was effected by finer methods than the futile endeavors of mechanical spacecraft. They could travel, mas madali daw mag-travel dati. Hindi mo kailangan ng mechanical spacecraft. And the demigods actually, in this war, nanonood yung mga demigods. Ang daming, ano, ang daming audience na sa sky. Pag may maganda nga nangyayari, nag-shower sila ng petals. Eh. At this time, nag-shower din sila ng petals. And all the royalties, all the great personalities, all the demigods, when Bhishma Dev um, passed away, they sounded the drums in honor. May, mus may background music yun. At the same time, may mga umuula ng, ano, ng, ng petals, ng flowers sa sky. So this is um, a commemory sa ating great personality or natawag na Mahajan. Mahajan, yung 12 Mahajan, is they are the authorities. 12 authorities where we could follow the footsteps in the spiritual life. Sabi nga dito, he is actually uh, in the level of Lord Brahma, Narada, Saksila, Shiva. Bishma Dev, nasa galun level siya. Yeah, and the body of Bhishma Dev lost its material effects due to being surcharged with spiritual realization. So, si Bhishma Dev, hindi na siya yung may normal na body lang. Even having a human life, sabi niya, a great devotee's body is not material anymore. Because of so, um, sobrang surcharged siya ng spiritual 
um, love and devotion kay Krishna, naging spiritualized na yung body niya. Just like din discuss nila, ni discuss yesterday that when one is seeing a great devotee, we bow down, we try to take the dust of their lotus feet that was ahead natin. Yeah. It is not just the um we're getting the good karma and all, but we're getting the blessings. We're getting the um the how would you call this bhakti, kahit pa paano, meron tayo na kukuha bhakti. We'll be um surcharged with bhakti because of the dust from their lotus feet. So, ganun din. Si Bishma Devi's body is considered as a spiritual body already. So, sobrang kakaiba and sobrang um, unique ni Bishma Devi. Bishma Devi was unique in his activities and his passing away to the kingdom of God is also unique. So, grabe yung um, yung glorious death niya. Kaya ka glorious death. Text number 46. O descendant of Brigu, Saunaka, After performing funeral rituals for the dead body of Bishmadev, Maharaj Yudhisthira was momentarily overtaken with grief. Yudhisthira will be the next emperor and siya yung huling may instructions galing kay Bishmadev. Also, lolo niya yun, <laughs> A great friend, protector, um, caretaker, uh, And what not lahat ng well wishes galing kay, um, na natanggap nila, um, mostly galing din kay Bishma Dave. Uh, si Bishma Dave sees yung pandabas na mga anak niya rin. Kasi yung, yung um, tito nila, si Dhritarashtra, are only seeing his sons, yung sila Duryodhan sa 100 sons. Since the pandavas the father of the Pandavas, Pandu, um, passed away. They're under the care of Bhishma Dev. Supposedly, dapat kay Dhritarashtra rin, pero we know, Dhritarashtra was partial. Gusto lang niya yung mga anak niya. So, si Bhishma Dev yung nangangalaga sa kanila. And, dun sa kanilang widowed mom, na si Queen Kunti. Previously, siya yung nagdasal, di ba? The prayers of Queen Kunti. So, very favorable And well wisher na lang si Bishma Dev. And Maharaj Yudhisthir was um, in grief again. Pero not just for the material body, but the longing of association of his beloved na si Bishma Dev. He went actually, bumalik sa kingdom, and, ito yun, nasa 40, ano yun. Uh, yeah, he went to the kingdom, si Dhritarashtra, yung tatay ng mga kaaway niya doon sa battlefield. And yung asawa niya si Gandhari were in grief. Kakapatay lang ng mga hundred sons nila. Natalo nila sa war. Tapos yung um, very dear most na nila si Bishma Dave na matay din. Sobrang sunod-sunod. And sino yung nag-comfort sa kanila? Yung isang, yung isang leader nila na pumatay doon sa anak nila. At the same time yung magiging um, next emperor, papalik kay Dhritarashtra. Siya rin yung nag-comfort kay Dear Teresa sa doon sa mag-asawa. And it's very um, virtuous kay uh, kay Yudhisthir. Gawin yung mga ganitong duty as a leader. Yan. Because also, Yudhisthir is a great devotee. Ito sobrang important yung verse na to. Text number 47. All the great sages then glorified the Lord. Sorry, all the great sages then glorified Lord Sri Krishna, who was present there, by confidential Vedic hymns. Then all of them returned to their respective hermitages, bearing always Lord Krishna within their hearts. So uh, after a um, great personality died, showers of flowers coming from the sky. Great personalities gave their um, support and um, um, pag-alalay dun sa mga naiwan. Even sila mismo yung naging affected. And the priests, the brahmanas, the sages, saintly persons, recited Vedic hymns, mga verses, mga mantras. Not just for Bhishma Dev, pero for Krishna. Again, even one... Um, was born, even when one died, we always glorify Krishna. 
So Sibhishma Dev died, Krishna was there. The sages glorified Krishna with Vedic names. And sobrang importante yung last um, statement dito. Then all of them returned to their respective hermitages, bearing always Lord Krishna within their hearts. In the first sentence of Purpa, Sri Prabhupada mentioned, the devotees of the Lord are always in the heart of the Lord. And the Lord is always in the hearts of the devotees. Kung nakikita niyo yung picture, famous picture ni, ano yan, ni Hanuman, literally binuksan niya yung puso niya, yung chest niya. Talaga na may dugo. <laughs> and makikita mo doon si Lord Ram sa si Sita. Pero here, unang-unang sinabi siya, Papa, the devotees of the Lord are always in the heart of the Lord. If bubuksan mo yung puso ni Krishna, andun yung mga pure devotees niya. And pag binuksan mo yung puso ng devotees, andun si Krishna. That is the sweet relationship between Krishna sa yung devotees niya. Hindi siya basta-basta makuha in just mechanical yoga postures, breathing exercises, or mystic power. This is the ultimate goal. Not love for Krishna. Na even si Krishna, kasama ka dun, nakalagay ka dun sa puso niya. And yes, paano ba ito mangyayari? One of it is, we know, Krishna will always be pleased if one serves his pure devotees. Sabi ni Krishna, those who are my devotees, not my real devotee. But those who are devotees of my devotees, is my real devotee. That explains um, being surrendered to a spiritual master, a servant of the servant of the servant. Because there will be some other philosophies like the um, those who wants to take shelter, even those who pass away na mga guru na. They want to go directly. And that was not even in the Vedas. We cannot do that. We cannot take, take diksha to those gurus that are not present. Even Narada Muni um, gave initiation in his pre um, really present condition yan, andun siya mismo. You cannot jump. <laughs> At the same time, we must serve the servant of the servant of the servant. So the more um, we serve as a servant of the servant, dasa ano das, the more Krishna will be pleased. And in the Bhagavad Gita, it was mentioned, the thought of my pure devotees always dwells in me. So how to enter that um, very sweet, place the heart ni Krishna if one is actually living his life dedicated to Krishna and serving his devotees. So, ganun ka sweet yung um, relationship na yun. For the ordinary living beings, the laws of nature is there for all actions and reactions. We know the doer is the desire of the soul, Krishna, in the material nature. All the reactions of our karma are being um, taken care of by the material nature, maya. Pero if one surrenders to Krishna, si Krishna hawak no karma natin. Yan. But he is always anxious to put his devotees on the right place. Ganon si Krishna. Therefore, the devotees are under the direct care of Krishna, of the Lord. How ka ako ng lahat ng karma mo? <laughs> Sabi niya kay Maya, kay Mat, sa Banyan Nature, ako na bahala dito, sagot ko na to. Ah, arbor na siya. <laughs> so whatever happens to a devotee, is not by Maya already, or not by material nature already. It's always by Krishna's grace, Krishna's love. There might be some other tribulations, but arrangement na lahat ni Krishna. Yun. And a devotee should think, Ah, um, okay. This is always arranged by Krishna and it may be few of my karmas na mini-minimize ni Krishna. Ganon yung um, love ni Krishna. Alagaan niya yung mga devotees. Always in the care. Ak sabi nga dito, ano eh. He's always anxious. <laughs> may anxiety si Krishna. Uh, kung saan niya ilalagay yung mga devotees niya in the right place. And the Lord also voluntarily puts himself under the care of his devotees only. Sipi mo yun, si Krishna, 
hinayaan niya alagaan siya ng devotees niya. Voluntarily. And it was mentioned here, under the care of his devotees only. One could not be a yogi having mystic powers, then si Krishna would be um, so, subordinate with that. No. Only love for Krishna could conquer Krishna. And he voluntarily surrenders. Just like Mother Yashoda. Mother Yashoda, imagine mo, itatay mo si Krishna. Didisiplinahin mo si Krishna. Itatay mo yung, yung belly niya sa mortar. <laughs> diba? Makulit ka. Nung nakakaw mo yung battle, ha? Tali ka, tapos talagay ka doon. Si Krishna, eh lahat nga takot sa kanya eh. He's the fear personified eh. Tapos umiiyak siya dahil doon sa nanay niya na may hawak na stick. <laughs> There's a reason nga rin na Mother Yashoda actually, pantakot lang yung stick na yun. Pero hindi, hindi dun nag, nag, nagpa-huli si Krishna. You cannot get Krishna using material things. Mother Yashoda have to um, let go of the stick. And even nahuli niya si Krishna, actually, in-engage na lahat ng gopis dun sa Vrindavan to get the rope. Kasi palaging two fingers too short. But only by the love and devotion ni Krishna, ng mga devotees, love and um, the endeavor ng mga devotees, doon na huli si Krishna. So he voluntarily serves and put himself under the care of devotees. Si Krishna um, took the role of a chariot driver kay Arjuna. Uh, yeah, sige. Paano pa to, Radha Charan? Parang hirap intindihin. You go to your altar. Tapos, gigisingin mo si Krishna. You have to take care. Nasa mo yung picture niya. Kung may details ka, you have to take care. Then, yung, yung high standard, you have to bait them. Diba? You have to dress them. At least the picture, you can do manasa. Diba? You um, sing for him. Diba? Worship mo siya. Pero papakainin mo rin siya. Pag di mo siya pinakain, magugutom si Krishna. Diba? Gutom ka rin, di ba? Or unless nag- kumain ka ng hindi prasyada, <laughs> murder ka lang sa labas. <laughs> di ba? Under your care, di ba? one could have that relationship kay Krishna as Krishna's parent. Di ba? Meron pa nga parang pinapagalitan si Krishna. Pero out of love yun, ha? hindi niya tayo pa-imitate yung mga ganun ba? Pero Krishna is under your care. And you would see yung mga pure devotees, they could talk to Krishna and request Krishna. Minsan pinapagalitan niya, but Ito And Krishna will do it. Diba? In, in the favor ng mga devotees niya. Only love could conquer Krishna. And this one, sabi, bearing always Krishna's within their hearts. Pwede naman sumama na lang yung mga sages kay Krishna eh. Krishna, kahit saan ka pumunta, bumalik ka sa duwari, kasama kami. No, even Dhru, um, Kapila, I'm mean, sorry, even Dhruva Maharaj, even Narada Muni, even Lord Shiva, saw and have a darshan of Krishna. Pero hindi nalang winish na, sige, sama lang ako sa'yo. A pure devotee, sabi niya, sinasabi nila, and ang goal nila, after this perfection of mystic yoga, seeing Krishna within, from within, ang hiniling nila, Krishna, please give me association ng devotees. So I could always remember you. I could always put you in my heart. The back taste of foremost and topmost sa yoga system. Nakita na nila si Krishna nun, ha? Pero ang gusto nila, service and association sa devotees. They know it will be, it will please Krishna. They, they know, um, kasama nila si Krishna within their hearts. It is also just like, when Krishna and Srimati Radharana is in the spiritual world, they have to go down here in the material world. Pero hindi pwedeng sila lang. Kasama yung mga associates. Yung ibang demigats bababari. Uy, sama kami dyan sa past time na yan. At the same time, in spiritual world, Sri Vrindavan them have to go here also in the um, material world. Vrindavan, Braj Bumi. Bumi is also a term na sa earth. Mother si Mother Bumi. Braj Bumi. So, bumaba rin spiritual world dito. Yung Braj, yung Vrindavan. Doon nag-perform ng pastime si Krishna. So, pagalis na Krishna, iniwan pa rin yung Vrindavan dito. So, that's why we go in pilgrimage sa Brindaman, India. Yes, pagpunta mo doon, it may seem na parang material lang kasi 
Like, lalo na ngayon, previously daw sobrang heavenly yung lugar. Pero ngayon, andyan na yung mga advertisement, di ba? Matraffic na rin. Mas maraming establishment na ngayon. Of course, yung mga main temples, andun pa rin. Pero when one goes there, if he is guided by the guru and his um, devotees, he is being protected kay Maya. Kasi si Maya is there also to protect yung brindaban. Para hindi basta-basta i-take abuse ng mga um, selfish and materialistic person or those yung mga Mayavad. They could not really see brindaban. But because of, um, that, why, that is why it is advised to go there together with the guru or pure devotees or in a group ng mga devotees to be guided. So, yung mga nandun na devotees would see and would feel na si Krishna yung bida sa Brindavan. Nakita mo lahat si Krishna yung pinag-uusapan. Si Krishna yung um, sentro ng buhay nila. And as Krishna's desire, actually, hindi nga nila nakikita si Krishna as supreme personality of God. Nakita nila si Krishna as anak nila, as lover nila, Ganun klaseng relationship doon. And mararamdaman mo yon sa paligid, sa buong bandaban. Um, generations after generations, they're taking care of deities ni Krishna. Yung mga places kung saan siya naggawa ng mga pastime niya, andun pa rin. Sobrang surcharge. Pag nandun ka, parang nasa spiritual world. Hindi ka tulad dito, parang you have to look, saan pa kaya may ibang devotee? O atin ako ng class doon. Everywhere you look, pagdating ng 4.30, tumutunod let, halos lahat ng bahay ng, sa, ano, ng mga consul. Lahat sila mag-worship. Thousands of temples, big temples, and temples in their own homes. Little temples are there. But you will see Tulasi, mga nakadote, mga tao, nakasari, nakatnek beads, may chanting uh, um, beads palagi. Uh, sobrang ano, sobrang spiritual world. And it, it's advice na you could not always um, desire na to live in Brindavan. People are going in that pilgrimage to recharge themselves. Diba? Sabi nga, Brindaban is a place of, uh, for dying. You die in Brindaban, so you, I mean, it's a safe place. Ka. Pero the way of living, you should always go to your places. Pero you have to bring Brindaban and Krishna in your heart. Kaya makita mo yung mga t-shirt, I lost my heart in Brindaban. <laughs> and also, you brought Brindaban everywhere you go. Mararamdaman yun sa mga pure devotees. Um, when you talk to them, even yung mga classes ng lecture nila, parang, grabe, parang, kasama ba si Krishna? <laughs> Ba't ka na lang wala, pag nagkakwento ka or may nag-lecture, parang, andun ka sa moment na yon Or, uh, pag kwento mo yung pasay ni Krishna, parang, napanood mo first hand. Or, pag nagkasalita yung devotees, mga devotees, alam mo na they, uh, Krishna is always within them. Kahit wala sila sa Brindavan. And, Wherever these pure devotees are, kung saan sila pumunta, it will be considered as Brindavan. Kung saan yung devotees na yan. There are also what you call the five angas of bhakti, if one is doing this. Um, hearing of Srimad Bhagavatam, chanting Krishna's name, um, worshipping of the deities at the temple, association with devotees. Nung apat na yon kapag ginagawa yung mga yon. That place is considered as Vrindavan or a holy place, a temple. Even not without the um, domes or ma- intricate designs of wall, if you're doing that in your house, that is considered a little temple. And the goal is to make um, our hearts favorable <laughs> as Krishna's um, abode. You can see Krishna from within. Kaya ang title nga natin is, I will always keep you in my heart. Because that is our, our goal. Although si Krishna tanjan talaga. <laughs> Pero how do we realize, kailan mo natin nare-realize yun? Tuwing kailan. So kailangan natin to be in that situation. Let's read further. The devotees therefore are all under the direct care of the Lord. And the Lord also voluntarily puts himself under the care of his devotees. Only. Yan. And even in the Bhagavad Gita, it was confirmed na lahat ng mga past, lahat ng mga Vedas, the Vedas, Upanishads, um, other Vedantas, lahat sila is only seeking for Krishna. Lahat ng mantras na nai-recite 
Buktaram yag na tapasyam. Lahat ng mga yon papunta kay Krishna yon. If you even chanted the glorification ng ibang demigods, they will offer it to Krishna. Almost all of the demigods are are um, devotees of Krishna. They know, they know. They don't want to take it themselves. There are some, of course, um, are affected by by material nature. Pero most of them are, no, Krishna is the supreme. They even see Ganapati, Shiva, are chanting, or even Lord Brahma, they're chanting. And maraming pastimes. Na si, um, Lord Shiva wanted to enter yung rasa dance ni Krishna sa yung mga gopis. Pero hindi siya pinayagi. Demigas na siya. Highest of the demigas nga siya. Eternal nga siya ang demigas. Hindi siya pinayagi ng mga gopis pumasok. Teko lang, di ba? Lalaki kayo, pabae lang mga pwede dito kasi Krishna yung ultimate na male and center of our love. Bakit ka pasok dito? Then look at you. <laughs> so, si Lord Shiva have to take a lot of penances. Para he could take a uh, uh, female body para maka-enter sa rasa dance. Si Lord Brahma was also trying to have the darshan of Krishna. And he prayed the Brahma Samhita, glorifying Krishna as the Supreme. So it just puts Krishna on the top, on the uh, being the fountainhead, the Godhead. And lahat nga ng mantras reciting the glorification is always papunta kay Krishna. Sometimes indirectly, pero si Krishna pa rin yan. Text number 48. Thereafter, Maharaj Yudhisthira at once went to his capital, Hastinapur, accompanied by Lord Sri Krishna, and there he consoled his uncle and aunt Gandhari. So ito yon. pinuntahan nila yung mag-asawa. Si Gandhari, um, you have to take note of the, um, um, this character sa Mahabharat. Si Mother Gandhari is the wife of Dhritarashtra. He is actually at the same level kay Bhishma. Pero, si Dhritarashtra is blind, physically and spiritually. Pero ito na, it's always um, being discussed and questioned. Ano bakit yung mga babae is inferior sa spiritual life? Gandhari is not, and a lot of women are not. And actually, si Gandhari is a ascetic. Nung kinasal siya kay Dhritarashtra, since Dhritarashtra is blind, he voluntarily covers his eyes. May takip siya ng mata niya. Kasi he's always, um, the, the role of a wife is to be always subordinate sa husband. Of course, the husband should be always Krishna conscious. So nagtakip siya ng um, eyes niya. And he, ev- she even, um, because of that, uh, that austerity and that chastity, she was so powerful. There was a past time na si Doridan, yung anak niya, alam ni Gandhari na manatalo sila or may hirapan sila sa Pandavas before the war. And he even um, told Doridan, kahit anak niya yon, na I will at once open my eyes and give all my power sa iyo para you will be untouchable, invincible in the war. But you have to go um, to my room then expose your whole body without any cover. Kasi pag may covering, ayun yung magiging weak spot mo. Okay, si Dorida, nanay naman niya yun. Diba? So, sabi pumunta siya nung gabi na yun. Bago siya pumunta sa room ni Gandhari, nakagam siya lang siya. Gam siya like a really... Um, tin towel yun nagamit sa sa panligo na naman <laughs> panligo sa Vedic culture gam siya bakit manipis kasi just like yung towel we should always wash this not the thick towel na ginagamit natin na uh, ilang araw diba? so tin towel so nakagam siya lang si Doridan si Krishna alam yung mga nyari so nag appear siya doon oh teka lang Doridan Anong ginagawa mo? Pupunta ka sa kwarto ng nanay mo. Nakagamsa ka lang. Ay, nakaubad ka. Maggamsa ka. Nakita ni, Dori, ni Krishna si Dorida na nakaubad. Kasi sabi ni Kandari, dapat walang suot. Maggamsa ka, suotin mo to. So, si Dorida, by the trick of Krishna, 
na bewildered siya. Tapos, oh nga no, pupunta ako sa nanay ko, nakaubad. Oh, magkam siya ako. <laughs> Pagpunta ni Dory dan sa quarter ng nanay niya, si Gandari. Then Gandari, um, pull out yung blindfold niya. Tapos pagdilat niya, nakita niya si Dory dan and empowered him. But of course, nakagam siya, nakakover yung ties niya, tie part ni, um, ni Dory dan. Now, what happened? I told you to not wear anything para um, all parts of your body will be invincible, untouchable. Nasabi ni Dory dan. Nakasalubo kasi si Krishna, sabi niya, improper daw humarap sa nanay, syempre. I'm all grown up. Tapos harap ako sa nanay ko nakaubad. <laughs> Then Ganda realized, oh, this is always a trick of Krishna. <laughs> And alam mo ba kung paano namatay si Dory Dan? Because of that weak part, Bima smashed his tie. <laughs> doon siya, doon siya nag, um, namatay si Dory Dan. <laughs> diba? It is just like the story of um, si, uh, si Achilles sa uh, Greece in Greek mythology. <laughs> diba? Yung weakness niya si sa Achilles tendon sa ankle niya kasi doon siya tinali and it was submerged so ganun yung power ni Gandari because of his chastity because of his um so sub- being surrendered sa husband as a, as a woman he is she is so powerful and how powerful she is nung namatay na yung mga anak niya namatay na rin yung maraming part ng ng kingdom nila pati si Bishma Dev. He wanted to curse the Pandavas. She wanted to curse the Pandavas. Pero pinigilan siya. You don't have to gandari sabi ng mga um uh, mga tao sa paligid niya. You don't have to. You should not retaliate them. They deserve to be um they deserve to be the emperor, next emperor. And in fact sila nga yung mga anak mo nga yung gumawa ng kasalanan sa mga Pandavas. That, that's why it happened. But of course, the love of uh, and the longing of a mother is still there. Kaya mo kung sino yung kinares ni Gandhari. Kinares niya si Krishna. It was always Krishna's arrangement. He's the supreme personality of God. And it's Krishna's arrangement. That's my, that, that, that is why my sons have to die in the battlefield. Again, don't take it materially. It was an arrangement of Krishna. This is a glorious passing, a glorious exit ni Krishna sa material world. Krishna accepted after 30 years, 36 years, I believe. He will um, leave this material world. Ayun yung exit niya. And that will be the start ng Kali Yuga. So, ganun. Ang ascetic, ang power ng women, lalo lalo na if they are um, cha- chase. Sabi niya, a wife's duty is to follow the husband 100%. And Gandhari was so true to her husband that he followed, she followed him even in the perpetual blindness. <laughs> Kaya siya considered as um, a great ascetic. Even always, even also, ayun o, Gandhari, although a woman, is no less than Bishmadev in character. <laughs> They are both remarkable personalities in the Mahabharata. So, ganun si um, Gandhari. Ganun din yung personality niya. Ganun character siya. And it is not to be considered as um, maging martyr lang yung babae sa asawa niya. <laughs> the role of uh, those who are married. The wife should always be chaste sa husband. The wife should worship the husband as um, the spiritual master also. Pero, ito yun, but, 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 the husband should be always 100% surrendered to Krishna. The role of the husband is to bring the wife and the family back to Krishna. So, magkakagulo na yun pag yung husband di Krishna consciousness. At the same time, yung wife di subordinate. He is dominant. <laughs> or, or mas mataas yung ano niya, trato niya dun sa, uh, I mean, pag, feeling niya mas mataas sa doon sa husband. So, this is Vedic culture, ha? Um, I don't know if hindi ako expert dito kasi hindi ko ashram yan. Um, how one could apply this in their daily lives. But I'm very sure one should be Krishna conscious. One way or the other, we will be in the situation na hindi ideal, katulad na ito. 
katulad ng sa scriptures. Pero, the first goal is to be Krishna um, conscious. The wife or the husband is not Krishna conscious, you should be. Or kung yung husband, hindi Krishna conscious, you should still be. So, ganun yung role ng um, scriptures. They are trying to teach us how to live our life, even the married life. And if not, how to apply it even without this perfect situation para tayo maging Krishna conscious pa rin. Last verse. Text 49. After this, the great religious king, Maharaj Yudhisthira, executed the royal power in the kingdom strictly according to the codes and royal principles approved by his uncle and confirmed by Lord Shri Krishna. This is the transition for Lord, I mean for Yudhisthira Maharaj to be the emperor. Maharaj Yudhisthira is a great leader. If you want to find leadership qualities, leadership training and leadership book, you don't have to go different ways. Just go to the scriptures. You can read the Mahabharat. That's where you could find the qualities of a great saintly king, saintly leader. I see Yudhisthira. Prabhupada mentioned Mother Maharaj Yudhisthira was not a mere tax collector. How do you know? They don't take charity. These kings only give charity. Compared to the modern leaders, what we have now, they always just take the taxes. <laughs> they never gave the tax to the people. Ayun yung ginagawa lang pang kabuhayan. This, no. The perfect leader takes care of all the subordinates. The brahmanas, the priests, the monks. They take care of the uh, business, uh, those who are in the business class, those who are in the workers class. <laughs> what we have now is, in the Kali Yuga, everyone is born lower than Sudra. Lower than the laborers class. Lower, ah, not the sudra. The thinking is very degraded. And one will um, have a leadership position and what to expect. It's just chaos. Actually, some of the saintly persons are not are um, not in favor of democracy. Why? Yes, people should vote. Should, people should um, elect leaders. But only few percentage of the people are in the right way of thinking who to choose and sino yung dapat ilagay sa position. And large percentage of it could be ba bought by money. <laughs> Pwede lagyan. Lar large percentage of the voters would be just voting because of famous people. Artista or um, without leader. any Anyone na without leadership qualities just because of them being famous. Or maganda lang yung jingle nila sa commercial. So, the leadership, the positions are not that in that good quality. You could see what, what kind of um, laws they're trying to pass. What kind of um, issues they're trying to um, focus on. Because they are not trained and they're not guided by the scriptures. They're not trained by... Um, a right person to train them. They don't have um, spiritual advisors. And it, their cycle just only repeats. <laughs> and also, one should not be frustrated with this. This is part of Kali Yuga. That is why the Srimad Bhagavatam, these scriptures are and should be, um, should reach these uh, leaders in our society. It should reach them. So uh, that's the purpose and that is the um, big help because if leaders in the society become Krishna conscious, the followers, the subordinate should be taken care of. And ganun yung ginagawa ni King Yudhisthira. Si King Yudhisthira, he's making sure, sabi niya, um, the king must know the human life is meant for liberating the engaged soul from the bondage of material condition. Duty niya, hindi lang pakainan yung mga tao kundi maging spiritual, uh, spiritually advanced yung mga tao, yung mga subordinate niya. Makaalis dito sa material world na to. And therefore, his duty is to see that the citizens are properly looked after to attain the highest stage of perfection. That is the first and foremost responsibility ng isang leader. Isang leader in society, much more than isang king. 
to make sure that people, the citizens, are spiritually inclined. So that is the um, chapter 9 in ating Srimad Bhagavatam. Thus, the end, the Bhaktivedanta purpose of the first canto 9th chapter of the Srimad Bhagavatam entitled The Passing Away of Bhishma Dev in the Presence of Lord Krishna. So maganda to. In next natin bukas, we will go sa ating chapter 10, Departure of Lord Sri Krishna for Dwarka. Makaalis na siya. No, pinigil na siya ng pinigilan dito. Diba? Ngayon makaalis na si Lord Krishna to be back in Dwarka. And sobrang ganda ng mga past time na to. We will hear much more um, relishing ng mga uh, past times with Lord Krishna and His devotees. So, kita-kits tayo tomorrow for continuation na natin Srimad Bhagavatam. If Sudarshan Prabhu will be back tomorrow, sama ka mag-read ng mga translation natin. Ha? <laughs> Yes, so uh, the next ab- abangan niyo next time siya yung magbibigay ng mga classes. Nagbibigay na nga siya ng classes natin. And umatin sa nung batch 0. <laughs> Before yung batch 1, umatin na si Shudder sa ng ating course. 6 years old pa lang yata, ganun, no? Hare Krishna, my dear devotees. Maraming maraming salamat for joining. Um, let's pray and let's make such effort for us to be always aware and um Put much more endeavor to put Krishna, to keep Krishna always in our hearts. That way, we will always have a place sa puso rin ni Krishna. Maraming maraming salamat. Kananta Rache Mad Bhagavatam Ki Jai. Lord, Shri Krishna Ki Jai. Grandfather Shila um, Bhishma Dev Ki Jai. Yudhisthir Maharaj Ki Jai. Shama Beda Bhakta Vrinda Ki Jai. Gaurav Parmananda Haribol. Thank you very much everyone. Maraming maraming salamat for those who are in the Zoom. And those who are watching sa ating Facebook Live. See you sa mga fourth batch. See you 9 o'clock to 10. And tonight, meron tayong prasadam course. 7 o'clock p.m. So, kita-kits. Hare Krishna.